Katie Doolittle here. I just got back from picking up a young squirrel that was attacked by a cat. Um, so we're gonna go and get him settled in, weighed, and start antibiotics just because cats are gross and they like to murder things with their bacteria. So I'll check in with you later. I love squirrels. And here is our newest intake. This is a gray squirrel. Um, I can tell because his fingernails. Can I show everybody? They have uh, gray nails. And so that's the easiest way to tell. Um, once they start growing and get bushier, if it's like a fox squirrel or any other type of squirrel, you can really start to like see the huge difference between the different species. So this baby, I've done an exam and I've weighed him and it's a boy. Um, he has a wound on his back hind quarter. So we're gonna start antibiotics and get a little bit of formula, a little squirrel formula into this baby. And we're going to let him snuggle into his little fleecy nest and hide and feel safe. So, alrighty, uh, this is a typical intake. Um, for a wildlife rehabilitator, usually um, animals, wild baby animals, are found by a dog or a cat, someone's pet. Um, <clears throat> or they're found doing yard work. So a lot of the squirrels right now that are being found and called, um, sent to wildlife rehabilitators, they're the ones that have been knocked out of the nest in the tree um, because people are trimming limbs and trimming up their trees, and so it's disturbing squirrel nests. Um, a lot of times you can reunite the baby squirrel with its mom by just like putting it in a basket up in the tree and um, mom will come get her babies and move them to a different nest. Um, but in an instance like this where there's where the squirrel was brought in by somebody's cat, um, intervention's needed so and it needs antibiotics. Um, so we're gonna do our best by this little baby and um, go ahead and subscribe and <laughs> look at you hiding. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see further updates on uh, wildlife rehabilitation. And as always, um, if you find an animal in need, call a wildlife rehabilitator. Don't try to do it yourself. We have resources that the general public generally doesn't have. And um, it, it's just better off for wild babies to be raised by somebody with the know-how. Anyway, until next time, Katie Doolittle is signing off. Hey everybody, it's Katie Doolittle again, and so I am here, and I'm on my way to release, let's see if you can see them, no, I've got my two bunnies that are ready for release, and so I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, like wild animal releases aren't the type of thing where you you know grab them one last time and you release them out into the world no you just kind of open the cage door and let them go out at their own pace so you don't stress them out one final time you just open the door and usually I leave the cage overnight so they have a familiar place to sleep that first night um, so I'm going to try and film some of it and some, cause sometimes there's like a brave bunny that will kind of venture out first and you can kind of watch a little bit. So let's see how this goes. All right. Take two. <laughs> I realized I did all this talking and never recorded anything. So we've got bunny and then in here is big bun. Um, and I've got them nestled up in these boxwoods. And so we've got lots of untreated grassy area here with nice weeds and things for them to eat. And so this will provide a little shelter, a little cover for them while they venture out into the world. 
All right, and so I'll hang out, and we'll see if any of them decide to move anytime.